Welcome back to the News at 4. I'm Brenda Rodriguez. And I'm Joe Paris. Part of Idaho's snowfall doesn't come directly from Mother Nature. Did you know this? Ooh. Idaho Power actually adds to some of those totals by using cloud seeding. Yeah, and by adding more snow at higher elevations, Idaho Power aims to ensure consistent power generation in the summer months. Now the company is starting to use new equipment so they can still seed in warmer conditions. Our Sophia Bliss talked to Idaho Power about the reason behind the recent change. Sophia. We're just initiating that precipitation process that wouldn't otherwise happen. Cloud seeding is a practice that's been boosting snow totals for 20 years in southern Idaho. We had an operational program start in the Payette in 2003, and we've operated continuously in the Payette since then. Sean Parkinson is the cloud seeding and meteorology team leader for Idaho Power. He says cloud seeding is best applied as a long-term water management tool. And so cloud seeding is just giving Mother Nature some particles in the atmosphere so that that water vapor or those water droplets that are below freezing can freeze around that nuclei and that gets the precipitation process going. Currently, silver iodide is released from equipment on the ground and from planes to help spur snow formation. The silver iodide acts like a seed and gives snow crystals a surface to grow on. In order for this process to be effective, the storms have to be cold enough and bring enough moisture. So we're just nudging Mother Nature with a process that it is already wanting to do. But this process is starting to change. There is some pretty intensive research done in the mid-90s, early 2000s to learn more about it, but it has not really gotten a foothold as in operational programs. Idaho power scientists are trying out a new substance to be able to seed storms that would otherwise be too warm to make snow. There's definitely an interest in having some more resiliency in our water supply. It'll hopefully give us an extended period. They're adding in liquid propane systems to operate alongside the silver iodide ones currently in place. So it's really an enhancement of our existing program. And not in all years, but in enough years we see as storms come through that are just on the, on the too warm side for silver iodide. And so the notion is that this will give us another opportunity. At the end of the season, crews will be assessing the effectiveness of this new compound. Idaho Power plans to do cloud seeding every winter season. Then if there's a high amount of snow or water mid-season, they'll scale back or suspend operations. But Parkinson considers scaling back a rare scenario. In the past 10 years, he estimates that's only happened about two times. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Sophia Bliss. So what kind of effect does this program have at the end of the season? Well, Parkinson says that, well, run cloud seeding programs can increase a season's precipitation by 5 to 15 percent. Wow, that's a lot, 5 to 15 percent. And that all depends on how much cloud seeding equipment is actually in the watershed. So the more equipment, the higher the increase of precipitation. Well, speaking of Sophia Bliss, what a great report. And now she's live right. in the studio with us. Speaking of snow, huh? What do you think, Sophia?